so very very good morning to you another ride test this morning this one is for a titan in red this one is going out to our customer emily so we're going to be putting some mileage on this one for her and obviously showing her the ride test video we have had a lot of these titans coming out over the last few weeks i think we've got 10 of these going out over the next two weeks so nice little one in red and black absolute perfect condition and no issues with this bike whatsoever so far on the PDI. Nothing was picked up on. So we're going to get this one out, take it out for some ride test mileage. And currently just 2k on the clock where we've been uh, obviously ride testing in the garage, taking it in and out around the yard for PDI. So turning the ignition on, full tank of fuel, brake in, starts on the button and no lights on whatsoever. Just adjust the mirrors. Now these Titan mirrors, as I said, are very, very wide. So perfect view of the road behind. And just for the purposes of the customer, take this one out and get some road mileage on it. So clear road and we're out into traffic. And with these little twist and go scooters, just put the power on. Normally around about 11 o'clock is 40 mile an hour. There we go, and straight up to 40. Perfect road holding as always. Lovely little set of tyres on this. And I keep going on about the Lexmoto rubber. Lexmoto tyres are exceptionally good now. They've really gone to town on the uh, the tyres that they're using. Quick stability control, one hand off the, uh, the bars and then we're going to push it nice and tight into the roundabout, get it into a straight line and harden on the front brake. Absolutely perfect. So braking system on these is very, very good. And also you've got that combined braking system. So we always say on these scooters, right hand side, dry weather, left hand side, wet weather. Never go grabbing a handful of front brake in just wet weather. So dry on the right and your normal wet weather braking on your left control gives you a mix of back and front brake together or what we normally say to people if you feel uncomfortable like that use the right for the throttle and the left for the braking you're going to wear your pads efficiently and if you do need an extra little bit of braking if you're coming up to speed coming in a little bit fast use your left and then go across to the right or get a nice handful of front brake make sure you're in a straight line all about progressive braking, not just grabbing that front brake, nice and gentle, getting the G-force down on that front tyre, and what we call progressive braking. So up to 40 mile an hour we are, so we're sitting at 42, and as always, these little Titans just keep going and going and going. And the seating position, absolutely perfect. So what I do like about the uh, Titan seat is, Obviously the uh, rear passenger seat is slightly higher, so you've got a nice little cushion just against your posterior, just to cushion you, so it does support you in the seat very, very well. So just getting the mileage on this bike, and if you watch all of my videos, you're probably sick to death of this dual carriageway by now, but it's the quickest way for me to get mileage on the bike, especially uh, during the mornings when it is rush hour, or when we've got a lot of traffic around having to keep stop start stop start it does hold me back on my times for ride testing so we tend to just get it on the dual carriageway get some mileage on the bike and then what we do is we edit the video and go into an urban route as i say this one's going out to emily she's going to be very very happy with this bike and these little titans are one of our best selling bikes and they're one of the uh, best priced as well just $12,999 or a penny short of £1,300 for the bike and then your on-road fees of $190 brings the bike price up to $1,490 now a lot of uh, people have said to me oh I can get uh, my Titan done it's $1,300 for the bike but they're only charging £95 for on-the-road fees they probably are to register the bike with DVLA is £55, your tax for the year is another 20 that's £75 and uh, 
it's basically a 20 pound spare which is going to be a quick bolt check round the bike have a look round we do our slightly different so we do 100 pound which is the PDI and all the inspection process 90 pound, 90 pound covers your admin and paperwork which is going to be your DVLA registration and your road tax now if you work out um, most of these dealers all they're going to do is a quick bolt check and chuck a couple of miles on the clock possibly about six miles on the clock we put 20 miles on at uh, 35k or roughly between 30 and 35k depending on obviously what my ride circuit does but I try to get as near to 35 as I can this one is in kilometres so currently six kilometres in and uh, what we do obviously I say is slightly different so some dealers are going to do a quick bolt check six miles on the clock we're going to put the 20 on what they're going to do as well is just one guy bolt check, bolt check blah, blah, blah. all they're interested in is getting the money out your hand into their till bike sold right there you go there's your bike mate and just pray to God that nothing goes wrong with the bike hence why we do about an hour and a half to PDI one of these get one of these prepped and ready filled with fuel number plates on it L plates on it uh, then goes across for what we call a QC session so it's a quality control bolt check so the senior technician will go round the bike have a look round and make sure absolutely everything is right and if not it will be passed back to that mechanic to put right again so I'm going to come in on the back brake this time and pulls up again very effectively so if you work out that we spend about seven hours on these bike your average mechanic is going to be charging about 15 20 pound an hour so you work that out as 140 pounds straight off if he's charging uh, 20 pound an hour and most garages mechanics are going to be or tech vehicle technicians that are qualified are going to be on a lot more money than that and then uh, your 90 pound that is your registration and your tax when you work out uh, obviously my ride testing comes into that so I'm out half an hour on the bike and then it's about another 30 to 40 minutes to do all the registration get all the Lex Moto pack ready but it's eight sheets of paper and uh, then do the handover of the bike which is about another 30 minutes I'm only 15 quid for about two hours work so that doesn't even equate to what I do especially for ride testing and everything so doesn't obviously cover my time for editing videos I do that in my own time and uh, that is just a courtesy from myself to you to show you that the bike is being ridden effectively um, and I haven't seen another dealer that is actually doing ride testing on motorcycles so uh, that is another thing that we do to obviously show the customer so we tend to go a little bit over and above just for the simple reason is I don't want bikes coming back to me but two days later oh I've got this problem I've got that problem and so far we've been pretty good we've had a couple um, we had one that had an electrical fault but that was uh, just down to a little bit of water ingress and that was solved in about a couple of hours time customers are happy bunny now but that is what the Lex Motor warranty is for if you get an issue get the bike in um, we also tend to go around the bike if we notice that uh, anything is wrong with the bike we tend to all the parts straight away and replace them so for instance scratch exhaust guard or you've got a crack in a panel we don't try touching it up or painting it or making it try to look good we're going to be uh, making sure that is absolutely spot on replace it with new panels and obviously the guys at Lexmoto are very very good if I phone up and say I need this part not a problem Dave we'll get it out to you it's on its way next day delivery or if it's on back order it's normally something we can change at first service so if it's scratch exhaust guard it doesn't affect the bike's performance or the running we normally say to the customer your parts on back order do you want to pick the bike up and we'll change that part on first service which is what most normally do if we haven't got a part available so just working our way back out into traffic and back up again to about 42 43 mile an hour So that's what we do uh, going over and above and obviously uh, it's up to you to make sure if you are buying a bike 
or a scooter, check out the dealer. What do their customers say? You know, have you had, have they had any uh, feedback? Now, obviously, with feedback, the internet is a wonderful thing. Uh, if people want to have a gripe, which is what most tend to do, but we also get the good ones. So, we tend to reply to all feedback received, and so far we've got a very, very good feedback, especially on the, the garage page, on the Facebook, on the website, and uh, even getting some good feedback. We had an email the other day, and uh, one of the customers actually emailed the senior manager said, I've just seen uh, one of Red Bomb's uh, ride videos. Is it possible I could come in and uh, have a look at the Titans? And he said, by all means. And I, I gave him a call and I was like, uh, can I book you in? And he said, yes, of course you can. Uh, when would you like to come? Oh, I'm going to come in for this Saturday, have a look at a Titan. But if not, um, have you got any geared bikes? Of course I have. And he said, I recognise your voice. Uh, what's your name? I went, Dave. And he went, oh, you're not Rev Bomb, are you? And I went, that's me. Oh, I love your videos. Thank you very much. You know, it's much appreciated to get some nice feedback from uh, customers that they are enjoying watching these ride tests. So thank you very much for everybody who does uh, take time to sit and listen to me waffling on about bits and pieces. But uh, I tend to sort of appreciate and hang around with a lot of people on YouTube. I spend most of my nights on YouTube chatting with other people, all my uh, bike bloggers that are listed uh, under every video, motor vloggers that I follow. So we tend to all, it's one big biking community and obviously if you just bought a bike or a scooter, we do um, the Lex Moto ride outs. So it's another little courtesy that we do. If you fancy uh, having a ride out with one of us boys um, just on a Sunday, which is when we tend to ride, because obviously during the week we are very, very busy. But normally on a Sunday, if you happen to be in the Milton Keynes area or sort of the Dunstable Oxford area or out in Northampton, just pop a, pop a note onto my uh, Facebook page or drop one on the Eclipse, just asking when we're going to be doing the next ride out. And then the next one, obviously this video is going to probably be going up Friday night, which is going to be, I think, the 3rd of July. We are riding out the 5th of July from the garage. And we've got some uh, Lexamoto owners going with us, and we're going to be taking a trip up to the newly opened Super Sausage after lockdown. So they finally got the cafe reopened for Saturday the 4th, but Sunday the 5th we're going up, and I have been told there's a lot of bikers going up now. Obviously, if you're going up to join in on the bike meet, don't be worried that you're a learner, or you're on a scooter, or you're on a little 125 with your L plates, because at the end of the day, Biking is a big brotherhood community. We're all bikers, we've all got two wheels and an engine, and uh, you will get a nod from bikers. I do when I'm out on uh, the little peds and I'll get the big bikers nodding me. I tend to be uh, nodding to everybody, so if you're a biker, you'll get a nod from me or you'll get a wave. Just say, hope you're okay. Welcome to the uh, biking community. Be safe. So we're going to be going out Sunday, so if you happen to pick up on this, drop me a message and uh, you're very welcome to join. Obviously we don't do no more than ten, so it's first come, first serve on the rideouts. I think we currently got about four, or five. Um, so if you do want to jump in on that rideout, drop me a line, but it's going to have to be a very, very quick one. Looking to get the garage for about 9, 9.30. And a nice sleddy scroll up the A5. Nice steady 50 and uh, toddle up to Super Sausage, a uh, bite to eat, cup of coffee. Now even at 40 mile an hour I'm overtaking a lorry here. So, doing very, very well. God knows why the lorry is only doing 40 mile an hour though. So just toddling along. We're going to get some extra mileage on this now. And uh, we shall catch up with you. When we go back into the urban route, obviously, as I said before on previous videos, if we don't get any issues, I'll edit the video here. If we do uh, have an issue with the bike, I tend to leave it in, and uh, this little bit of be fast forwarded. So hopefully, I'll catch up with you when we go back into urban. So just coming back down off the dual carriageway now, after 31 kilometres on the bike, or scooter, should I say? and absolutely zero issues with this bike for Emily. So we're going to go in and do the urban route now for the final few. 
and just feed it around a few roundabouts and obviously tyres scrubbed in nicely bike leans over very very well now on these new tyres it's all nice and perfect for that new rider and even pulling up a hill you've still got the torque to pull you up and I've got a hell of a headwind so got a feeling those big black clouds are rolling in with a bit of rain so I've just beat the bad weather thank god and we're going to make our way back to the garage now I'll obviously tell you about this bike Lexamoto Titan one of our best sellers these retail at $14.90 from us on the road and we've got the next batch of 10 coming in for August the 18th I already have three of those sold so three of them have been pre-ordered still got a few of the reds and a few of the greys available so if you wanted to pre-order one of those 149 deposit that will guarantee you one of those bikes 10% and the final balance when the bike comes in as usual follow all the guys at Eclipse on Eclipse Motorcycles find them on the Facebook page and the uh, easiest way as I say every time to find the social media on my page is to go up onto my website revbomb.co.uk there is a link to the garage and the bikes on the first page where it says about me scroll to the bottom all my sponsors all my followers are in there and the links to the garage as well and then if you wanted all my social media it's on my social media page and obviously with the YouTube videos click like subscribe if, if you enjoy what I do and then hit that notifications bell to update you of new videos that are coming out until then and the next ride test this is RB wishing you uh, be well ride safely and hopefully we might see you out this Sunday at the Super Sausage if not it's a big goodbye from me and I'll see you on the next one